Well, I wanted to close off this playlist. Um, I, well, I might add things in the future, some hands-on things, but uh, the learning portion um, with a, a little bit of a note. Uh, first of all, when I started down this journey, I was AWS certified and I lost my AWS certification because it expired. Um, and it was interesting to see just how much Cloud Plus does differ from AWS. Um, a lot of the stuff where it differed is the private cloud uh, portion. Uh, since I've worked in the industry long enough, it wasn't a big deal. Um, but it's something that you might want to pay attention to. Uh, also, I reserve the right to be wrong. Uh, I have a lot of experience, so I have a pretty good knowledge base. I like what the ISC squared defines it as, the common body of knowledge, the uh, KB, uh, uh, CBK, uh, common body of knowledge. And that really helps me get these certifications, um, which the flip side is also true. Getting these lower level certifications can help you eventually get a higher level certification like the CISSP that I currently have. Um, there's something else though. Uh, now I can't share with you specific questions on the test, but I wanna share with you something that happened to me on the test. Uh, as I was taking the test, uh, of course you can flag questions you wanna come back to. And I had a couple questions, of course, that I wasn't quite sure about. And I found out that uh, as I'm looking through, I actually got a similar question multiple times. Uh, which I thought was odd, uh, and they were very close. Um, and as I looked, that was one where there was two correct answers, um, and I wasn't sure which one was the correct one according to CompTIA. Um, and as I was thinking about it, I thought, you know what? Probably the safest bet, instead of getting multiple questions right or multiple questions wrong, I'll answer it one way on one question and a different way on, on the other question uh, because I knew there were two correct answers. Um, and uh, that was an interesting uh, situation. So uh, I, I refer to those as choose the best from the best. Um, and as people are preparing for uh, certifications, uh, I often tell them expect to get questions like, uh, it referring to food so I don't get in trouble um, if you if you're having questions about food what would you like an apple an orange ice cream or cake and you're expected to have some background information to know which one's the right choice um, maybe it, you're supposed to be eating healthy so ice cream and cake you can easily throw out um, but apples and oranges are both pretty healthy so you're supposed to have a pretty good idea of what's going on to know which one is the best answer out of the correct answers. But then there's also <laughs> sometimes questions about um, that are slightly different, where you have to pick the best out of the worst choices. So let's go back to food. What would you rather eat? Dog food, cat food, dog feces, cat feces. Okay, so looking at that we can quickly rule out the feces right where we don't want to eat that ever but cat food and dog food aren't great either um, you really don't want to eat any of those so this is where you have to pick the best out of the worst answers and uh, unfortunately uh, that scenario plays out in business all the time because you have someone who doesn't quite fully understand what they want to get done and they come to the professional and they say, I want you to do this this way. And you're like, seriously? And so you have to do your best to make the best choice out of the worst things because they won't let you go down the right path. Um, now, hopefully you could help them identify the right path, but not always. So anyway, um, this playlist is done. So, uh, we have 31 videos. Uh, as of recording this, they're all live. Um, and this one will make 32. So 
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video.